While analyzing the summarized sales data of a group of products, sometimes you may need to explore the details about one single product. In this case, Excel comes in handy for drilling down on a specific part of the data. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Demi, your day-to-day -day Excel and VVA tutorial helpline. This is Hadi Basher, and today I will demonstrate how to create a drill down in Excel. For this video, I will use Microsoft Excel 365. Let's quickly refresh our idea about the drill down. In short, drill down refers to expanding the details of a specific data point from the entire data set. It is useful if you want to get more detailed data from the whole data set. Now, let's get introduced to our data set. Here we have a sales data. This includes the name of the salesman, the name of the products, and the corresponding sales amount. If you look at this data set, you can see that a single product is sold by multiple salesmen. Now, if you want to get the detail of a single product, then you need to drill down on that product. For that reason, first of all, you need to create a pivot table and later you can drill down on a specific product. So, to create the pivot table, as a cell of this data set is selected, so you can move to the insert tab from the tables section, click on pivot table. Here you will find the options to create the pivot table. As I will create the pivot table from this data set, so I will choose the option from table or range. This opens the pivot table from table or range window and you can see my entire data set is highlighted automatically and in the table or range field you will find the cell reference P4 to D13 of this worksheet to create the pivot table. In the next section you can choose the location of your pivot table. You can create the pivot table in a new worksheet or you can create the pivot table in the existing worksheet. In my case I will create the pivot table in the existing worksheet so I I'll choose the second option and in the location field I'll set the location where the pivot table will be created. You can choose any cell of this worksheet to create the pivot table. However, I'll select the cell F6 in my case. As a result, you will find the cell reference of F6 in the location field. Now click on OK to create the pivot table. This opens the pivot table fields window. You will find all the fields here. As I want to create a pivot table with the product wise sales data, so drag and drop the product field in the rows area. As a result, you can see a product list is created and this is a unique list of the product. This means one single product appears only one time in this list. Now, as we want to get the product wise sales data, so I'll place the sales amount field in the values area. Hence, you will get the product wise sum of sales amount and the grand total is calculated here. This pivot table is sufficient to drill down on a specific product. However, you can add more fields to this pivot table. For example, you can set the salesman field in the filters area to filter the sales figures according to the salesman. If you click on this drop down icon, then you can filter the sales figures according to the salesman. However, I won't do this in this case, so I am clicking on cancel our pivot table is almost ready. You can further customize this pivot table if you want. For example, as column F contains the product list, so as the header, you can set product, so type product in cell F6. Then, you can apply number formatting to this pivot table. As column G contains the sales amount, so you can apply the accounting number format to these cells. So select the cells G7 to G11, then move to the home tab from the numbers section. You can click on this dollar sign to apply the accounting number format. As a result, the selected cells are formatted accordingly. Now we have the name of the product and the associated sales amount in this pivot table. If you want to get the details of a single product, you can use the drill down feature. You can apply the drill down feature in two ways. For example, if you want to drill down on the product printer, then you need to click on the corresponding sales amount that is cell G8. Now you can right click on cell G8 and choose the option show details to drill down on this product. Alternatively, you can double click on cell G8 to get the drill down of the product printer. Now, I'll double click on cell G8. As a result, you can see that a new worksheet 
named sheet 3 is created and here you will find the drill down of the product printer. In this way, you can get the drill down of a single product. One thing I should mention here that the drill down is always created on a new worksheet. You can rename that worksheet and give it a meaningful name. For example, as this worksheet contains the sales data of printer, so I'll name this worksheet as printer. Next, you can apply number formatting to the sales amounts. So select the cells C2 to C5, then move to the home tab from the number section, click on this dollar sign. As a result, the sales amount are formatted accordingly. Now I have got this drill down of the product printer by double clicking on the sales amount of printer. Let me show you another method of getting the drill down from the pivot table. So go back to the sales data worksheet that contains the pivot table. This time I want to get the drill down of the product keyboard. So right click on the sales amount of keyboard that is cell G7 and choose the option show details from the contextual menu. As a result you can see that a new worksheet named sheet 4 is created with the drill down of the product keyboard. Here you will find the details about the keyboard. You will find the associated salesman and their sales amount in this drill down. Now let me set the name of the worksheet after the name keyboard. So double click on sheet 4 and set the name as keyboard. One thing I should mention here that you can set any meaningful name according to your choice. Now I'll format the sales amount. So select the cells C2 to C4, then move to the home tab from the number section, click on this dollar sign and the accounting number format is applied to the cells and that's it. In this way, you can get the drill down of a product. I have demonstrated the step by step guide for creating a drill down in Excel. Hopefully, you can apply this knowledge according to your requirements and convenience. You can download the practice workbook from the video description to sharpen your Excel skills. Feel free to leave any questions, suggestions, or feedback in the comment section below. You can go to exceldemy.com to read our Excel blogs, or you can share your Excel related issues in our Exceldemy forum and receive free solutions. For more content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching our video. Bye.